Hey guys, Paul here with HugsFit. Today I am going to show you how to release trigger points in your levator scapula muscle using the TP Buddy RX. Trigger points in your levator scapula are almost as common as having trigger points in your trapezius muscle. They go hand in hand. And today I am going to show you how to release it yourself. The function of the levator is to lift your shoulder up and to lift your shoulder blade. It also functions to rotate your neck along with other muscles. Trigger points in the levator scapula develop because of overload. Typically, they get overloaded from daily activities such as carrying a backpack or if you're a lady, having a handbag on one side of the shoulder and then it causes you to lift up your shoulder so that the bag doesn't fall. The levator scapula is involved in elevating the shoulder blade so anytime you have this kind of action because of an improper armrest at your office or maybe even driving I've noticed when I drive that I tend to not put a lot of pressure on my arm and I, and I tend to hike my shoulders up so Hiking the shoulders up is a big problem with trigger points. A photo of the anatomy up here. And there are two trigger points on the levator scapula. One is very close to the scapula and the other one is close to the neck. The first trigger point, second trigger point. Even if you don't have the TP body RX, you can always use your hands. Be careful because repetitive use of the fingers can cause you to have joint issues. The trigger points for the levator scapula can be easily confused with trigger points of the upper trap muscle since they are so close together. The type 1 is an easy beginning release the type 2 is a more advanced release which I will not be going over in this video. The type 1 release will be done in an easy standing or seated position. And remember the type 2 release can be done on the floor as well. I will be going over the type 1 release hand position for the TP Buddy RX. You are going to take, take your right hand and place it on this edge. You're going to take your left hand and place it on this edge. You're going to place it on your opposite shoulder and onto your trigger point on your scapula. This hand will be used mostly for guiding and positioning, while this hand will be used mostly for generating leverage and pulling down. So position it over your scapula. Once you find the sore spot or the trigger point, you can take your right hand, place it over the C-curve, and use your index finger to kind of fine-tune the placement. And then once you find it, you can just massage slowly back and forth over the trigger point. It'll feel kind of fibrous and you can feel that you are on the correct spot. This is the first trigger point. The second trigger point is closer to, to the neck. You can take the C-curve here and using your right hand, place it on the front and you can access the trigger point to the front of the neck because it's deep to the trapezius muscle and the best way to get into it is to go under it. And this is really easy because you can just press into it with a C curve or you can take the TP body, flip it around, place your right hand 
this curve. Take your left hand and put it on the C curve and then just press into it. And that's how you get into the front trigger point for the levatus gap. A good stretch for this is to roll your neck to the opposite side you just worked on and drop it down about 30 degrees and that's it.